So anyways, I did a little bit of grinding. Of course, I, I already spent all my money on alchemy stuff. So I managed to get Flash to level 3. And for the hell of it, I decided to get Hardball to level 1 for no reason. Just because I had the materials. I figured in the beginning of this area, I should probably choose... I thought they had a wood one. Just choose a background that would suit this. Just to kind of show what it has, you know, it has bricks and shit. Not really, not really fancy. I, w I was gonna choose one that's appropriate to this zone, but I guess whatever. I always like to have this one. Okay, I think it's time we should head over and fight the boss. Oh yeah, I got my Bone Crusher to level three. So I guess I'll just show off that attack. Look at that. Yeah, I got the stupid levels. <laughs> it might be a bit overkill. It just might be. Anyways, I'm going to cut to the next zone. Okay, here we are. Yeah, this place is a bit of a... Kind of a bit of a puzzle maze. I don't quite remember how it all goes down. Did you do you find anything? It's probably on the other side. Yeah, we're probably a bit strong. Yeah, there we go. Attack. Oh, you found another thing. Yeah, I actually have quite a bit of ingredients, so Flash is gonna be very helpful in this boss fight. Oh, there. Your character auto moves for some reason when the ground right, like right there, he kind of nudged. Uh, okay, I'm probably trapped now. We have to go down this slide. It looks hilarious, by the way. Yeah, there you go. Yes, that is their slide animation. It's basically a falling animation. Okay, uh. We found another thing, huh, Doggo? Oh, great. <laughs> Luckily, you can't really screw yourself, so... I thought that would actually break. Oh, you found another thing? More oil? Oh, clay. Okay, so I guess we gotta go this way. It's always the longest and most squiggly path to take. Squiggly. And that, I figured it broke. But I think they're... I th I, I could be misremembering. I, I thought there may be items, or at least ingredients. I didn't even sniff for that, unfortunately. Uh, whatever. It is what it is, and is what it is. Overkill. Colorful shit. Did you just dead end me, doggo? might actually be the proper way. I see no point in actually making the bridge collapse. Oh, okay. Oh, is there something there? You're faking me. You're messing with me. Yeah, you messing with me. Unless you detect if it's breakable. Dead end, right? Oh, no. It's probably gonna break here. Break here? No. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. So to go through all that again. Well, at least I covered the whole area, even if there wasn't much to gather. Oh, you lose your charge. Okay. Good to know. For this one time to visit area. So, yeah, you can kind of see how the route is. The most longest and convoluted route. Well, not convoluted, but... Let's do our infinite sprint. Look at that. Hey, hey, hey. Probably gonna get locked off. Oh, there's the proper route. Hold the charge. There it goes. Oh, okay, there's something here. Ash. Lovely ash. Oh, great, I'm dead. <laughs> it's a dead end. Okay. Okay, let's run through this. Should be straightforward at this point, right? Ow. Oh, my 
way, insect. Oh no. I also got. Oh yeah, I guess I should show it. For the hell of it, I got armor. I mean, the only way you can know is when it's on your, you know, status menu there. Grass vest, but, you know, fine bracelet. They're crap, but, you know, better than nothing. Oh, yeah, and let's take a look already at the dog's defense. Look at that. Look at that fucking defense. 64. He doesn't even have any armor on. I mean, he can actually put a collar on that would increase his defense further. And, yeah, his attack ratio is pretty, pretty high there, too. The only thing I really got going for me <laughs> compared to him is, I guess... Magic defense? <laughs> Two points. Yay. Well, at least magic is the only thing you can't really, you know, evade or defend against. I, I think there are spells later that involve increasing magic or something. Magic defense. I call them spells. Technically, it's alchemy. Okay, this is the boss area. I guess I might as well use a pedal. I I'm pretty stacked up. It only heals like 40, I believe. Yes. Oh, yeah, there's one last little area. I forgot about it. <laughs> I thought it was a boss. Now we can go to the side areas here. Probably, hopefully, find some items. I do believe there will be some things. Ah, redeeming that pedal from earlier. Nice. Can attack? No, I don't think I can. Maybe if we had a spear. Nudge, nudge. There's definitely something there. I believe there's that item teasing us from our earlier. <laughs> Petals. Uh, that's, I guess we'll just use it on. If I get, we can't come back here anyways, so might as well use it. Anything? You were sniffing there for a reason? You were just messing with me. Messing with me. Damn you, doggo. It's a multi layered sandwich. Oh! Dog attack level 2. Whoopity whoop. Here's the fun thing. Oh, let's switch to him. Here. Never actually demonstrate it. You, press, you can switch to him by pressing select. But who would want to be this? Look at this. He moves like ass. But his, Look at his level 2 attack. Check this out. Notice the difference? Well, absolutely not. The only difference is damage. Disappointing, I know. Okay, uh... I think, I think we have to be on this one. Did the audio just get friggin' loud? For a moment there? Trippin' balls. Okay, uh... Wait, wait. No, it had to be in the bottom one, right? No, oh, no, 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 no. What am I thinking? I had to go back to that other legs. <laughs> Navigating. So much fun. It's not even that hard. It shouldn't be. There we go. Now, I guess, I think we go here and there's going to be an item. Down a little staircase. At least I assume it's a staircase. It's probably not a staircase. This is, this is the husk of a once living being. But it moves like you're on a staircase, like it's... You see how the string screen shakes, which suggests stairs? Oh, this is the boss. Oh, I'm so excited. Hmm. At some point, I may taste the nectar. Although, I think it heals like 200 health. Okay, let's do this. Unique boss music, initiate. Oh no, he might hit me with his mandibles. Okay, obviously, you see where the weak point might be in this boss, and I don't know if you'll be able to figure it out. You have to have him expose his rip. I'm gonna hope the dog takes down these guys. I think that might trigger. Oh. It opened for a moment. Oh, I hit the arm. Nice. <laughs> I 
think it, I don't know if it just opens randomly or you have to actually hit the cage to initiate it. Dogs actually this is <laughs> this is where you could I guess farm them. I don't even know if they give experience. God, I, I think I got a little too strong. Okay, I think we can actually hit the heart with there with a uh, flare. <laughs> Happened right when he casted something on us. I might actually be able to kill him by flaring his heart. That's like, I think you're supposed to hit the rib cage to open it. Damn it! I accidentally let go mid hit. Oh, his heart's open. Oh. Damn. I got thudded by an invisible attack, which is un unpleasant. Things aren't going well. Maybe I should taste the nectar just for fun. Let's do it. Oh, 120. Oh, that's actually my full health bar. I have tasted the nectar! Can I open this? Come on. <laughs> Perhaps. Maybe we should use flare since the hit is not being. Oh, let's hit multiple. If I get. It happened once more. <laughs> For a moment, this is not working out. I'm over level and I'm suffering. What triggers it to open? Do I have to be right here? Oh, get, yeah, yeah! I'm getting fucked up. What's hitting me, anyways? Oh well, I got pedals for days. That was the wrong direction. Music. <laughs> it's not decent damage. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Well, I took down his arm. <laughs> it's really showing how long this fight's taken. Oh, his heart's open. Get it. Oh, why? The hell? I don't remember it being this annoying. I'm just gonna try to take his arm off for shits and giggles since I apparently can. Go. Let's just shoot his heart, since this is taking forever, and I'm gonna throw a heal on me while that's happening. I killed him. <laughs> Only got in his heart once, but hey, I took out an arm with him. Finally, we have a more dignified weapon. It's apparently a spider claw. A uh, brave adventure indeed! Thank you for saving me! I am Strongheart from the village of Fire Eyes. I am a member. I am a member in no good standing of the Nobilian Order of Alchemists. I'm Zack, and this is my dog Rex. We haven't been. He hasn't been himself lately. I'm very happy to meet you both. I was searching for alchemy ingredients when I stumbled upon that monster. If you didn't if you didn't come along and save me, I would have been eaten alive. Wait, you were actually like inside his body, or maybe underneath it? So was it some kind of spider? Eh, whatever. Please take this gift with my thanks. Ingredients, really? I thought it was going to be an al I couldn't remember if it was an alchemy or not. I, th I think he does give you it later. Good luck, Zuck. Well, go into the light then. So, as you would expect, new weapon means gotta level it up again. So, right now, but of course, it is far better than the bone crusher.
Eh, not far better. I mean, I guess I'm doing a few more points of damage. Oh, yes, you must have found that. Chrysotels. <gasps> Mammoth Guard! That, I believe that to be armor. Whoops. Spun that all around. There we go. One more defense. Whoopity whoop. I keep trying to check for stuff in the skull, right? Uh -huh. Now, here is a secret alchemist. I'm sure nobody knows of him. He gives an amazing spell. Okay, I don't, I don't think he does. If I recall, it might be a spell you may have recognized during that boss fight. Well, I guess that's kind of just outright saying it's Acid Rain, because that was the only spell he used. Mm, just checking if there's any ingredients along the way. Oh yeah, look, yeah, look how secretive that is. I'm sure you would never have figured that out. Look at all this stuff. Stuff and things. It's a bunch of freaking liquids and shit. Oh, cutscene, apparently. Well, you look like you've been through a lot. There are a lot of bugs and baddies out there. They are probably giving you a hard time. You tell me. I should give him a different voice every time. That would, that would be a thing. <laughs> Here's something that should help you out in the sand, tar, and lava. It's the formula of acid rain. Just mix three parts of water with one ash, and you'll have a potent concoction. Acid rain. Yay. Uh, fuck off. Sure, this would actually be the first time I legitimately saved. <laughs> Okay, I suppose you're wondering, where do we go now? Well, now that we've finally got an axe, a weapon that actually has a blade, we can... I'm just pushing this fucker aside. Come on, dog, finish one. Ugh, suck. Okay, now we can slash bushes, which is going to be demonstrated right here. Now we can finally go in different places. First things first... We can just go here. I think there's some just some parts. Yay. We actually have a lot of stuff right now. I mean, we can go here, but uh, I don't really think there's anything of interest aside from, again, more stuff that's just kind of strewn about. I'm just kind of guessing where they would be. Dog? Sniff? Sniff? Now, this area isn't really anything, but it will be a spot we will be visiting later on. There we go. More stuff. Sure, this is riveting. Over here, come on. You slug. Okay, there's nothing. Okay, so... There's actually... I believe it's Strongheart we get to visit. It's not really, it's kind of like a, actually there's multiple people to visit. After beating that boss, NPCs start showing up in certain areas. Oh, come on Rex, let's go talk to Rex, fuck off. No, we'll do that in a bit. Well, maybe, maybe it might have to be after that. I don't precisely remember it. But there was this little hair area I must have, I visited earlier, but she now has a man. A man who has an alchemy spell. You saved Strongheart in the bug muck. Well done. Nice save. Wait, really? <laughs> he said that? I can help you defend yourself in, a, in future battles with an old recipe. This is an alchemy formula of defend. Use it with whatever, all this stuff, and defensive properties, yeah. It's kind of self-explanatory. It increases your physical defense. I guess that's all he has to say. Does he sell ingredients? I just, oops, just unequip whatever. Good luck, young warrior. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that's me, young warrior. Before we go and visit the illustrious Fire Eyes, we will visit Strongheart himself, who is also another generic NPC, but by name he is Strongheart. 
Let me take a little bit of cutty cuts. Get more nectar so I can burn it on this. But then, you know, I believe we get, we might get a pretty good spell if it, if it is what I remember it is. Shell hat. <gasps> Armanor. I like Armanor. And I like spinning and going around town in an unnecessary fashion. There we go. I like how he's, I guess he's like a hermit. He's an outcast or something. <laughs> he, he just likes to live separately. I'm back in business after a terrible experience in the bug muck. Thanks to you, I'm not a uh, bug's dinner. Yeah. Please take this cure formula. It will cure you from poison and other ills. The formula requires... Okay, it's not what I thought it was, but cure is okay to have. I mean, it cures you from poison and shit. You don't want to have that on you. Mm, yeah, Shin. He shows the cheapest form of water. Like, look how cheap this shit is. I mean, obviously he's giving you a discount for saving his life. I mean, at least I assume that's the reason. He doesn't even say it. Was there another thing? There's usually never anything inside dwellings. Aside from their chests. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump all the way to bitch face. Okay, we are back. And let's collect more ash for the hell of it. Cutscene time. I hear you were victorious in the far reaches of the bug muck. Well, it was a bug hunt, but we got out okay. Got out of it okay. And we got a nifty claw, too. It's like an axe. Well, that's... That's great. Strongheart has returned to his hut south of the village. I've already done so. And now the village faces a new crisis. The volcano to the north is rapidly cooling down. If this trend continues, we could have an ice age on our hands. I'd like to help you, but I've really got to start looking for a way back home. Your best bet might be to track down the source of this atmospheric icing. I see. I think I'm originally from Podunk as well. My grandpa is an inventor who lived in the mansion on the hill. He made a machine that could send people to worlds of their own design. Since I enjoy all things prehistoric, I dream up this world of the cave of the cave people and <laughs> this world of cave people and dinosaurs. I was supposed to be here for a couple of hours. But it's been a couple of decades. Wait, decades? I thought you were a kid. Now and again, I sense evidence of the outside influences of our world. This recent drop in temperature could be the work of someone from the real world. Real, the real, from the real world. And that person has, con has control over the vicious volcano vipers. If you go to the source at the center of the volcano, you might find something or I might send someone or something that could lead you back home. And you might you might just save our village at the same Yes, yes. Continue continue on doing your fetch quest for me, peasant. Oh it might help you get home, yeah, just hang dangle that dangle that carrot over my head, yeah sure. Wow, this is like what happens in the pale people of Planet V or Planet Five. It's also it's about a bunch of astronauts who get stuck in, in the exact replica of Earth on an exact replica of Earth. Earth. I can't talk. Only it's populated by zombie vampires. This sounds like a fucking awesome movie. I really want to see this movie he's talking about. Someone, please, who done, who's who's ever like played this game in the past, do a little parody of it. That'd be amazing. <laughs> well, actually, this isn't like that at all. <laughs> I like I was going on a tangent that wasn't going to anywhere irrelevant. If you're finished with your little anecdote, I can give you the ability to call on me in difficult situations. Received beads. Put them in your butt to summon me. Oh, no, that's not what she says. <laughs> if you need it, my help, especially in big battles, you can throw a call bead on. <laughs> throw a call bead to the ground. Okay, that's how it works, huh? I'll appear in a flash, then you'll be able to summon one of my spells. No offense, but how can a girl help with a couple of adventures like us? <laughs> Seventh grade. 
I've learned a few tricks since I've been here. Let me show you why they call me Fire Eyes. Step back. Get away. Call me if you need my help. Eh. Fuck off. Anyways, I'll take this ash. Eh, eh, eh. You destroyed it. I can't gather ash from it. If I zone back and forth. Let's see if it comes back. I need ash. She broke it. I think it might fix itself at some point. Who knows? Maybe it doesn't. I just didn't remember that because, you know, it was done and gone at this place. So... <laughs> The only place I can think of going now, which I believe is the only place to go, is north, like she was talking about. And yes, you can't break, you can't attack in towns. I know it's a little late to be saying that, but no, you cannot. But this is where we hit a blockade instantly that we can cut through. Oh no, look, a reskinned enemy sprite. That means it's stronger. Oh no. It also actually has a unique attack. I, I know it's probably going to happen to me regardless, but let us let me demonstrate. Come on, plant. Yes. It commits Vor onto you. You do not want this. It is, I mean, it may be, I mean, it may be for some people, but you know what? You don't want this. I'm wasting time. Wasting my time and everyone's time on stupid things that the dog thinks he smells. Oh, what, do you smell something? Is it nothing again? Oh, it was Ash. Is there any... Eh, let's, 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 let's demonstrate defend. Let's split it between each other. Now, when you put a buff on you, or a debuff, you get this nice little, little glow going. Defend is an okay spell, but there is a better one later that increases your uh, evasion. Evasion, I, in my opinion, is far better than just straight-up defense. Because if you evade an attack during an attack that you try to commit onto an enemy, your character will go into like, like a sort of dodging animation, and he'll actually attack twice. Which makes it pretty damn useful, especially if you have a charge attack. You could double attack someone because of the result of your dodge. Pretty nifty, but since our you know our the our evasion values are utter dog shit, we rarely dodge. Rarely dodge. We where we dodge attacks. More nectar. I love nectar. No, why did my speakers backlash? What the fuck was that? Okay, I don't think anyone heard that. Random guy, do you have spells? You have a armor. I don't need no none of your e armor. I am strong man without the armor. Mm. Okay, so just a random guy who likes to live in a cave selling armor. Nah, eh, just about man, an average, an average day in prehistoria. I'm just give him a slap so he doesn't eat me. I don't like Vor. Where are you going? Okay. Dog, attack. Good. Spooky music. I guess that music's pretty awesome. It's really good gloomy atmosphere music. If it wasn't for spiders running at us. Oh yes, spiders. Arachnophobia, anyone? Oh yes, good thing we got that cure spell, because they can actually poison at, <laughs> right on cue. But you know... Uh, yeah, let's, get, uh, let's see. How much does it cost? I think it costs like oil or some shit, doesn't it? We have roots and oil. I think we got plenty. You know what, doggo? PETA will like me for doing this. I'll just do it for both. Fuck it. Makes no difference. Now, Cure is one of those alchemies that make absolutely no changes when you upgrade it. So it's really pointless to use it overall, but eh. It's nice to have so you don't die of poison. Poison would wear off eventually, but I swear it sticks for a long time if memory serves. Oh look, they're having a stalemate. It's a staring contest between a spider and a dog. Who's gonna fuck it? <laughs> it's still he's still locked in stare, even if I interrupted him. Okay. 
And I believe there is a mini boss just up ahead, so do I have enough pedals for this? Surely it's just a normal fight. It's no trying to attack a freaking giant spider's heart. I swear that there's something I'm missing about that fight I failed on. But hey, at least at least it kind of made up for the fact that it was an over leveled piece of shit. But hey, but hey, twice now I get to fight enemies. Anyways, you trespass in our bone land. Prepare to join the mammoths. Okay, then. Oh, no. These are guys who like to spear tongue. And roly-poly strike. Okay, and now let's... Let's hit them with our friggin' flare. Wow, I'm getting all... 50 shades of fucked up. You know what? I'm gonna taste... No, actually, no. I'm gonna take one more hit, then I'll taste the nectar. Now, the good thing about acid rain... Is it actually stun- I mean, it's actually kind of almost as shitty as Hardball, and it's not really worth using because it takes so much water, but its utility is that it holds the enemy still for such a long period of time. So it has that use. And yeah, look at that, 9 damage. Yeah, I, the funny thing is I think it actually has- when you level it, it's actually up to level 4, it's fairly decent damage. And I'm dying now, taste the nectar time. I have tasted the nectar! But yeah, it, it, it kind of becomes a shit spell, even if you get to level 9. It's not worth leveling at, like, I guess up until 4, but even then. You want to keep your water material for the cure, the heal spell. Which I think we'll get fairly soon. I think just after this fight. Yeah, that's right, I'm going to have to level up this axe again. Uh-huh. I'm just receiving all kinds of hits. Okay, let's hit him with a flare to finish him off. Hey, let, fuck it, let's throw a rock at him. <laughs> Add insult to injury. Oh, pff, my attack just did just as enough of that as much as that hardball. I'll collect this thing here. Oh, the final big boy. Forgot about this guy. Ah, that was the complete wrong direction. You know what, let's, let's increase my defense. Oh, we should have done it for both. I'm just a selfish motherfucker, aren't I? Yeah, actually, increasing... You can actually level up your your defense spell. I think it actually st either lasts longer or becomes more effective. I think it's both. I think it only changes by, like, I don't know, if 10 seconds or a little, maybe? I don't know. I could be wrong. I remember I wikied a lot of this stuff when I played it sometime later. You know, on an emulator like right now. Yeah, this guy is no different than the other. Obviously, he's just a reskin, so he's just stronger. He has the same attacks. That's him with Flare. Let's hopefully finish it off with this. There we go. And yes, immediately we get another weapon. <laughs> My favorite weapon to use in this game is the spear, just because it's a range. It's a range has a basic range attack and a strong ranged. I wonder if this this gate leads to the volcano. <laughs> hey, motherfucker. Thank you for fighting the fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm a goofy fuck, if you haven't noticed. Thank you for fighting off those vicious vipers. They treat the sacred mammoth of graveyard as if they were the only source of bones in the way. As if... Okay, I can't use words. As if it were only a source for bones and tusks. Defense wore off <laughs> mid-conversation. I lowered my defenses, in other words. Those guys were vipers? Yes, no motherfucking cause. You like vipers? I was about to say a filthy word you, you two would never allow. Yes, lizard people from the Great Volcano. They've been coming out in force lately, raiding the graveyard for mammoth parts. Defense keeps wearing off over and over again. What does this mean? When we get to the core of the volcano, we'll stop them before they do more harm. Why are you going there? It's very dangerous. Well, Fire Eyes told us the volcano's cooling down and... Fire Eyes? Fire Eyes? Say no more. If you're a friend of Fire Eyes, then I know you. I can trust you. You may find the means of... To enter the Viper's Domain on the top of the volcano to the north. 
I'll let you through the gate. Oh, oh no. <laughs> hey, bitch. Should I heal your wounds? Well, let me take a look. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, I kind of need it. If you need to be healed later, you can use my heal formula. All you need is one part of water and one part of root in order to activate the spell. Well, yes, the one and only thing you must always keep on you is heal, because it is the shit. And yes, it's gonna it's gonna be one of those spells. It's probably just gonna natu naturally level up synthetically as we use it. However, at our level, I'll probably have to keep using it early on, because it probably only heals like 30 HP right now. And just give me a moment, I need to check and see if everything's going well on the recording side. And yes, it is. It is, it is, yes, yes. Everything is going gravy. And crystals? Clay. Clay at the base of a crystal. No crystals. How does that work? What does it mean? more crap that we're just gonna collect because this is the game four parts wax holy crap hit the mother load yay I can cast flare four more times where are you taking me <laughs> what is this ring around a rosy shit there we go. okay so oh raptors they're actually one of the best things to farm. I think they give like 75 talents per kill. This is the next place I, where I farm. Farm. <laughs> like, I need any more of that. But, you know, like I said, I'm a very OCD when it comes to leveling these things. I don't think I'm going to take them to friggin' level 9. Fuck that noise. Sound cut out again. It's kind of weird. I think it's just the sound, the music looping. But, yes. I desperately want to level this spear at least. Probably can just skip leveling that axe. Fuck that. Fuck that. That took forever to actually level the Bone Crusher, by the way. Because, you know, the next level you have to literally kill a hundred enemies. And even killing those Skele Snails was a pain in the ass. Because, you know, I couldn't just one-shot him at that point. What is the attack rating of this? I am looking on the wrong thing. I think it actually should. Does it actually show that damage? Oh, it must be. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a little stronger than the than the friggin' thing. The uh, what do they call it? The funny thing is, the thumbnail actually looks pretty nice. But the unfortunate reality is, these weapons just get recolors. They don't get any fancy little pixels to make them look different. Which yeah, it's a little saddening. But at least they, I guess, at least they change color, right? I have a little interesting theory involving, yeah, where's the call bead? Yeah, look right here. Involving the call beads. I believe they were probably intending to have the characters that utilize the call beads, that they were probably meant to be a companion for the worlds you're in. And I guess the dog may have replaced that, or it may, he may have been a part of it as well. But that's just, that's just a theory of mine, you know. But wouldn't that be interesting to actually have, you know, more than just a dog companion? <clears throat> I gathered instead of attacking. But yeah, I'm just, I assume it's just one of those things they probably, if they, if it was intended, they obviously had to cut it out of development for time or whatever, some shit. You know, same kind of shit today, but, you know, slow, somewhat different. I'm assuming there's stuff here when a dog's not even sniffing. Mm, brainlet. We, <laughs> we hit each other. Raptors are a bit of a pain because they are very agile. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's do our nifty new spell. I'm guessing 20, 30. It's really low. Yeah, 20, 20 to 30. Yeah. But yeah, we're, we're going to have to level up that beast. No need to spam it. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do it again just because... Since the heal is so, since I since it would actually be worth doing. There we go. Dog did a, you know, there was a little fake sniff. That's when he scratches himself. Oh, we got locked in. This is like some little encounter thing. I think we'll. I can't remember what we get out of this. 
a little, little, doing a little, little, little sprite dance with this guy. Right. I'm holding him still, doggo. Go for the kill. You failed, Mimma Boy. Dino skin. I like to wear dino skin. Let's put on it. What are you? Yes. More defense. Like I need to be any more overpowered. But fuck it, we'll put it on. And that's double heal. It's probably gonna be because it actually splits the amount. Oof. Fifteen. I like our health is actually the exact same. Doing this both. No, you ruined it. Now it's different. Alright, here's more of these vor plants. I think they're actually like called man eaters or something. Oh, look at this secret right here. The proper way. But let's first cover this whole area. I think there are some items. Eh, you know, petals or whatever. They're kind of useless now that I have. Roots is good. Roots is basically a full heal. But yeah, now, now healing items are pretty much useless because we have heal now. Yeah, you can pretty much just ride on heal alone, you know? There are better heals later in the game, but, mm, you know, super heal and yada yada. I think there's actually another heal that fully heals both of you guys. I think there's actually an alchemy that specifically fully heals your dog. Oh. Well, I could be wrong. Whoops. I wanted to get that item, but I, I stepped on the wrong shit. Let's slide out here. I'm not gonna have to dance around on these things. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of spells that are kind of useless. Not necessarily useless, but something they'll really find a use of, worth using. Worth of use, you, you. Redundancy is redundant. And yes, I was poisoned, and I was getting all messed up. I could have cured it, but hey, let's up upgrade heal. This, this is some really, this is some riveting footage. <laughs> uh, in here, I was saying I would not torture people anymore, and you believed me. Well, okay, we cleared everything. Now let's go the proper route. Let's go. Let's start sliding out. Look like that. I think that item back there. I, I believe you can only get once you're leaving. After we properly do the route. Landed right on the raptor. And missed. After a proper ambush was completely botched. Item. Clay. <laughs> well, I can't remember if you find anything really good in chests aside from armors. Oh. Did I take the wrong route? Hmm. Something's not right. Gotta use that tiny brain. Okay, I guess we take this one, and we go onto a pad that... There we go. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. Everyone ready for an alchemy that you only use a few times in a game, but you can't really use it during battle or anything else? Well, gee, this is the place where you get that. Mmm, -hmm, another fine blend. Nice nose, good color. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, you wouldn't know how to get into the volcano from here, would you? The volcano? No. Mm. Mm, nah, mm. None but the way that would turn an adventure into ash and molten bones. Pardon me? The only way that I know to enter the volcano is straight into the crater. Of course, come to think of it, you could try the catacombs at the base of the volcano. I've seen the passage, but it's blocked by a big rock. Levitation! That's a good solution. You could lift the rocks by... Uh, lift the rocks and other heavy objects by using the levitate formula. I'll give it to you right now. Yes, levitate. You can only use it like four times throughout the game. Totally worth having on your formula roster. The formula requires a mud pepper and water. Travel to the east from the volcano, the base of the volcano. Wait, from the base? Ugh. From the east of the volcano. My, my English sucks. Anyways, you'll find mud peppers in the swamp. Anyways, would you like to purchase crack? Look, here it is. 
pile of dust that is crack. You could call it ash. He actually sells clay at a pretty cheap price, so I'm gonna I get some. I mean, look at our talents. We're rolling in the we're rolling in the dough. We're rolling in the keratin. I guess yeah. We'll save. See you later. Is there nothing in here? Just nothing but this crazy hermit living on the top of a volcano that is somehow standing in molten lava and not being rendered to molten ash. Like he was saying what would happen to us if we went into a volcano. Oh yeah, yeah. This, you know, games, they don't really give a fuck. <laughs> and I love them for that. I love them for not giving a fuck about logic and yet trying to spout a lot. Okay, that did not take me to where I thought. Well, I think that might involve something later, but I don't think it's too important to fuss over it. And I took a decent amount of damage from that raptor. Despite my stupidly high levels and health pool, and I just <laughs> undid what I just redid. And I am I am failing. I am failing right now, yes. Uh, even Doggo's failing, look at that. We need a You know what's you know what we need? We need to get to a marketplace that will give us defense and evasion. Yeah. If anyone knows who played this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a it's a place I kind of both love and hate. That it's one of those moments in any game that you think of like, oh, I love this thing, but I you know I hate doing it. You know. Or it's just simply one of the areas you dread because you know it's going to be a lot of annoyances. I mean, I'm sure I could look up on Wikipedia. If any of you who, who knows what I'm talking about, there's a marketplace later in the game that you can go and get charms that actually give, you know, passive boosts. Passive boosts to, like, physical hit and all that other stuff. Which is all fine and dandy, but the funny thing is, it's, apparently the North American version of this game has one item that's bugged. I think it's, like, the sheaf or something. Whereas... I think if it's, if you get it in the inventory one time, you can trade it for something else, and it ends and it still stays with you even if you trade it off. Like the effect stays on you, which is <laughs> which is amazing. There's another bug, which I thought it was exclusive to my cartridge, but no, it was a uh, it was specifically another North American bug where the bazooka rounds. I think the strongest shots are infinite. <laughs> I just wonderful, right? It has to be the strongest one that's bugged infinitely. <laughs> now I could be wrong again if me I'm just going by memory because I do remember having infinite rounds in my game save file like every time it happens. Now, is this guy have alchemy or is he just another oh, woman? A woman in a cave alone? Oh dear. And mm. no, no, perish perish the thoughts. Thoughts. And she also has a fruit headdress. I mean, <laughs> how could you not? How could you not just think of that? And she has nice little flashy colors. That's an attractive little sprite, ain't it? <laughs> uh, oh, I must leave. Things are getting awkward. And the dog just had Vor committed onto him. Thing. Okay, and things have gotten real weird. Must advance. Oh, more Vor. No. No internet. I cannot take it anymore. Now, if I recall, I'll free you from your, free you from your uh, nightmare. Anyways, frogs, yes. They are, they don't do much damage to the dog, but I do remember they are pretty tanky for frogs. And yes, these small things are a threat. Probably more so than raptors. I mean, they're not nearly as fast as the raptors, but, oh great, off <laughs> screen, dog, please. I do believe I was being rendered. Oh. Okay, no. I don't want I don't want it. Oh, pedals? Yeah, pedal. Okay, I guess now it's one of these traditional things where we got two <laughs> these traditional things called a dungeon in video games. That's the words that's the words I try to use, yes. And yeah, why am I can get What's really annoying is, well, I'm gonna probably just go through this dungeon, and I'm probably gonna try to at least level up my spear, cause the next boss, you kinda need to use the spear, either that or rely on alchemy, kind of like what I did in the last fight. But he has he has a more significant health pool than the other boss, because you know there's no gimmicks trying to get to the heart. 
Okay, it looks like there's something over here, I'm guessing. Okay. This is dog fucking with me. I think he is. Oh, mm -hmm. lily pads. They're a thing. Anyone in reality, let's try to jump on a lily pad to get to another end of something. Because it's totally a reality that happens. Yes. Again, using words. I got to top up my health. Oh, look at the difference of a level two, a level one heal versus a level zero. <laughs> That's far more significant. There's an item here. There we go. More roots. More roots equals more heals. Dog, finish him off. That's a good boy. Trying to anticipate where it is before. Okay, attack. Okay, don't attack. Just get knocked back. Look at that defense this motherfucker has. Holy shit. How much how much bigger did it get? I think we leveled at least twice. No, just once. Yeah, look at that. Now it's all well, I think it was 69 giggity, but uh, now it's 70. I think it only went up by one. I could be wrong. I, I might be misremembering. Hmm. God. Accuracy. <laughs> the accuracy. I really want... I think it's like the disc or something that increases... I th that might be ranged attacks. Whatever the hell the charms are in that... In that market that's gonna make things a lot easier. Oh, man, please. Spidey's knocking me back. Was there anything there? Or are you just messing with me? Hmm? 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 What the... He just attacked nothing. I've never had the dog do that. There was nothing there. I thought I commanded him to do it. A new feature that I never knew of? Okay. He just attacked the air, I guess. Uh, yeah? I'm not even holding the triggers. There should be something there. There we go. Oil. Makes sense. We find oil in a swamp. Oily plants. Olive oil. Oh good, a dead end. Nothing here. Oh yeah, that's right. You have to kill the frogs. Oh, good thing we were slaying everything. Of course, like in any Zelda game, the door, the pathway is linked to frogs. They control lily pads. Yes. Okay. How is my? I mean, the dog keeps finishing the attack. Oh, it's making making decent progress. I mean, I'm not even really trying to exclusively attack. Oh, I'm getting hurt. Gotta do heals. Maybe it's gonna be another nice big fifty. Game be 50. Oh, 40. I don't know why I was so intimidated by frogs. They aren't that threatening, but it's just that... Okay. He vanished. Okay, they're like... they're Okay, they're a lot more intimidating. They're apparently like Slenderman. Found a pit tail. Face of little shit. Okay, let me finish him off. Let me get fucked up by him. This is very dignified, right? Getting your ass kicked by frogs. I heard a podunk. I think we are close to home. There you go. Is this taking us somewhere that we've been? Oh no. I'm lost. Okay, we've. I don't think. I think we started going this way, but we took a bypass. Mmm. Mmm. More frogs. Lovely. We gotta manifest destiny up in this bitch. <laughs> you go, dog. This is this is embarrassing for both of us. You you go, homie. 
Oh, at least you're taking no damage. <laughs> Come on, please. There we go. Holy shit. Oh, and I knew there was gonna be water there because I just. I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a physic. Oh, oh. The funny thing about these spiders, if they attack the side, look how lame the distance is, but if they attack down, their distance is insane. Yeah, look at that. It's like, it's almost like the turtle attacks, those skeleton, skeleton shells or whatever. I kept calling them dancing shells and shit, the wrong name. Everything but the name that they're supposed to be. Okay, once we kill these frogs, if I recall, lily pads spawn there and we, we make a full circle. Okay. Die, monsters. You do not belong in this world. What is a man, miserable pile of poo and smelly turds? Have at you. Now, we are back here. And I believe there may be more frogs to kill. Okay, yeah, we, we have to... I'm probably going to spawn more, because we just made a big unnecessary circle, but man, we have to kill things. I think they're supposed to spawn here next. What a weird way to lock off the continuing path. Kill the frogs. It's it, it's weird, because it was so forgetful. Okay, we have to... I guess we have to get to that frog. So we have to go along. I think we went this way, didn't we? Oh! But there's a frog here. He, he just bitch smacked us and turned around and faced away from us like we ain't shit. <laughs> oh, that, that's something amusing about that. Something that's like half the size of your character sprite treating you like trash. Okay, you are determined to find wherever that is. Over here? Right, right, right. Oh, great. Psychic ability. The, do the frog is coming. I'm going to search while you kill. Or unless you were messing with me. Were you messing with me, doggo? No, there is something here. I will. I will. I am determined. This is personal. I need to find whatever this is. He seems to know what it is. Let's go over here. Let's position him less. This is necessary. This is necessary to life. This is necessary. This, fuck this, not worth, it's probably like fucking one part of water or one part of roots. And I just went the wrong way. I was so distracted with that. <clears throat> oh, 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 you found something? Uh, could it be? Could it be more parts of something? Sasquatch poo? Something? Bog monster shit? Or is it nothing? Or maybe he's trying to get to this. Found some nectar. I'm just finding stuff without you, dog. What's the point of you? What is the point? Okay, you apparently are determined to fuck with me and say that there is something there. And I'm just not looking good enough. There we go. Water. And you're getting all messed up. We both are getting messed up. Mm -hmm. A little heal action there. Yes. Mm. It is like embracing... I, the name escapes me. I was trying to make a funny and it turned out to be nothing. More oil. Yeah. Olive oil. Oh, more frogs. We must murder them. Those frogs have red eyes. They are... They are hell's creation, these frogs. And yet they have a big goofy snout like their fucking cartoon character. I mean, nothing against the devs, but it just seems funny, like, okay, we need to create some kind of roadblock, it's, uh, uh kill frogs. Yes, good. We, we will do that. Kill frogs and murder. Murder, death, kill. Um, uh, I, I'm being murdered. There we go. 
eight damage was enough. It was it was a half ass attack which worked out. Attack dog. I'm gonna collect stuff. Get poisoned. Here, I'll I'll take care of that. Alright, is it worth wasting the oil? Hmm. You know what, dog? I, I'm going to use you to level heal. Because, you know, poison will wear off. How much does it do? It just does, like, certain ticks of damage? Where's the damage? I think it will prompt it. Yeah, it took six. Okay. There are far more deadly poisons that you could get. Because, you know what? Now that I think about it, this game be like Demon Souls, yo. Because they have poison and they have plague. Plague is a weaker type of poison. Or weaker. A stronger type of poison. Just like in Dark Souls. And it also, I think, lasts on you indefinitely. You have to cure it. Kind of like the plague itself. I'm talking about things that could be topical. But I will not go there because this is not about topical stuff. You just gaming and shit. Oh. Well, Rex. You feel good about yourself? Killing that frog? Getting all leveled and shit? Now I need a dog that actually hits. There we go. I was about to put you up for adoption. Whatever you call it. For, do for animals. <laughs> Alright. A call bead. That's kind of a... The funny thing is, they are pretty rare. In fact, I'm pretty sure they are very limited. I don't think you can farm the ways of getting it. I know there's a spell where actually you can create call beads. But to my knowledge, I don't think you can ever get... There's a limited amount of resources throughout the game that you can only get to use that spell. So yeah. That's a thing. It is a very rare thing indeed. Did all that just to open the lily pad all the way over here. We are getting actually near the end of all this nonsense. Which I think is right now. So, let's just inch forward. I think this is the end. So, before I advance, I am actually going to close the video now. And do some grinding. Don't you... At least, just to level my spear. I don't need it, need it for levels. <laughs> I, I just want to level up my spear, guys. I don't want to be OP. Too OP. No shit. Can't quit. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So anyways, next time, death to river monster.